This is Brookstone. Brookstone is a stallion that came to us a few months ago. He bites, he kicks, he rears, he is aggressive, and he is dangerous. No one will go in his pen anymore for fear of being hurt. So I decided to open up the conversation and give it a shot. Most horses that are considered dangerous aren't actually dangerous. They've just lost the capacity to communicate with the people around them. And the people around them probably aren't communicating in a way that they can understand. With Brookstone, I asked him to move his feet staying calm until he knew that it was safe for him to be calm too. I like to give horses choice, so I would walk up to him and hold my hand out, allowing him to choose to come to me. And if he was gonna bite me, I'd ask him to move away. I'd keep going up and repeating, allowing him to sniff my hand through his choice, inviting him, and then I began to invite him to the possibility of petting him without touching him at first so that he got used to the motion of my hand behind him. He wasn't scared and I was able to touch him and scratch him. I was then able to halter him safely at that point And again, scratching him and letting him know everything's okay. He has nothing to worry about. Horses can tell if you're nervous or excited, um, if you are scared, if you back away, if you move your feet away from them, they're gonna think something is wrong and that you don't totally have their back. So you staying cool, calm, collected, touching their body, brushing them, letting them know not to bite you if they're gonna bite you. That's not cool. Starts to open up a totally different conversation, a totally different possibility with you and your stallion. 90% of the conversation with your horse is going to be energetic. So I constantly ask questions. I constantly give them adoration gratitude. I let them know they're the best horse in the whole world. And I also use a lot of tools from Conscious Horse, Conscious Rider. Right here, I've gotten to a place where I can start doing body processes, access consciousness body processes. And these are energetic hands-on processes that you can run on your animal, you can run on your horse, you can run on people and they literally start to dissipate and release limitations locked in the body and the psyche and allow the horse to release a lot of tension, abuse, past decisions, all kinds of stuff. They're super effective and you also tend to get a much faster result. Brookstone did not have it easy before he came here, so it's no wonder he showed up like he did. During the session, I'm asking him to let go of all of those stuck points of view from the past so that he can start to create a brand new life and a brand new, greater future than what was going to show up had he kept doing what he was doing. So in just a 45 minute session, you can see he's much calmer, not perfect, but so much calmer. He is walking with me, his head is low. He gets to finally have his poop scooped from his pen. I forgot to mention the only way that anyone was able to uh, get him to this point so that he could get his pen clean was by using CBD treats and by putting a muzzle on him, which didn't work very well anyway because he would rear but we were able to, again, acknowledge him, allow him to be him, um, and open up a different conversa conversation through body movement, through pock and potting, through energy, body processes, 
peace and calm. And he is on his way to a different possibility.